story all new tonight on the WHS 11 night team. Louisville Metro government invited various agencies today to tour the site of the proposed community care campus in the Smoketown neighborhood. The campus would take up an entire block and includes a former hotel offering both temporary housing and medical care for the homeless. WHS 11's Travis Breeze tells us which organizations were there and which ones are skipping this project. Seven organizations got a chance to see the former View Hotel and other buildings like it on this block. The city wants to transform this area into a hub for homeless outreach services, but the different organizations found out today that the funding is not figured out at this point. But it is not in um, super good condition. Groups like Addiction Recovery Center, Volunteers of America, and Norton Healthcare saw the state of this block in Smoketown. Some good oh, it is nice. and some bad. In the um, kitchen, it, it appears to me that it's been broken into and all of the copper has been stripped. Um, but when they, you know, when they transferred the deed to us for these properties, they essentially took what they wanted and left everything else. Marilyn Harris, director of the Office of Housing and Community Development, led the tour as the organizations tried to envision how they fit in. I come here with the mindset of looking for an opportunity to build an elder care. At the end of the tour, Harris clarified for the organizations there is no city funding set aside for the renovations. It's going to take some financing from the, the private sector um, and our partners to make this happen. This is a big project. Uh, there's multiple big buildings. Um, I don't think as an organization of our size privately and publicly, uh, we can handle that ourselves. D. Tran with the New American Business Association suggested all of the organizations submit a response together to give them and this project the best shot. Partnership is the only thing that's going to make this work. Feed Louisville said last week it was considering going but decided against it. Director of Outreach Donnie Green said, quote, requiring organizations to pay to offer services will result in organizations having fewer resources or dollars to deliver services to the thousands of houseless individuals who need and deserve our support. In Louisville, Travis Breeze for the WHAS 11 night team on your side. This building, the building director. Any organization who wanted to submit a bid to be part of the CARE campus had to attend today's tour. Deputy Mayor Nicole George said they could be open to changing that rule.